Hi everybody, this is Marsha B at Busy B M K T, and it is Monday morning and I am out and about, which I hadn't really planned to be out and about today, uh, but over the weekend I have a rib that's decided to give me the blues and poke at me and make me a little miserable, so I called my chiropractor this morning and he was able to get me in, so I figured if I gotta get up and get dressed, I might as well get out and do a little shopping. I also have to go to the post office because I have six packages, six packages to send out. So I'm very, very excited about that. Been spending some time over the summer really working my eBay shop and it's paying off. So um, I do have um, how to find me on eBay um, down in the description if, if you see something um, on any of my videos that you're interested in, um, you can pop over on over to eBay and see if you can find it. So I'm at the post office now. We'll drop this off and then head to see Dr. Gray and see if he can get me back in shape. All right, so Dr. Gray got me to where I can breathe again, which is important. Breathing is important. <laughs> so on our way home from the doctor's office, there just happens to be a Goodwill. So let's just stop in and see if there are treasures awaiting us. Well, this is the Goodwill that has all the cool furniture. The piano is still here. Shocking. This is a neat room divider. Isn't that fancy? Wow, that's really cool. I don't have a place in my house for that. But oh, look at the little baby in the clay. So cute. This is a hit or miss goodwill for me. Sometimes I find great I find great stuff. Other times I don't find anything. So hit or miss. Look at that at glasses. There's two of these little guys. I don't know what those are. is so aggravating because sometimes I will get a strike on Facebook or on YouTube rather because the music's too loud. Not my fault. Turn the music down. Okay, so seriously, the music was too loud, so I'm going to do a voiceover. As you can see here, there were lots of carts piled high full of stuff coming out that hadn't been put on the shelves yet so I always like digging through these because again it's like buried treasure <laughs> um, sometimes it's precarious though because they'll have like really fragile glass things in with pots and pans and whatnot and so it's kind of a pain to dig through with one hand so I think oh yeah 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 I forgot I got that I have a piece of corning where it's a size that I don't have in my current collection. So here's the rest of the buggies, baskets, and lampshades, and tchotchkes. Oh my! And I won big seeing this. Look how huge those ants were. They were so heavy. So major points for that one major points and I probably would have considered getting it had it not had some chips on it did have a signature on it and everything but that was pretty epic that piece here's a doll meant to look old um, her makeup looked a little 80s and her costumes 50s she's a little mixed up soak <laughs> So here I am minding my own business and I find this beautiful little plate. What do you know? That's employed. The girl's got an eye. The girl has got an eye of Fitz and Floyd, but unfortunately, she got a big old chip. Ugh, but that broke my heart because that was just a beautiful piece. And I had to put it back. That was so sad. Then this guy caught my eye, mainly because he's a bit of a weirdo. Those little bunny slippers. 
You just never know what you're gonna find at the Goodwill, folks. You never know. Now these guys were cute. The little kangaroo, and look at the little fox and his snail friend. Oh, so cute. Nothing special, but cute nonetheless. And then there's this guy. Oh my goodness, look at that basset hound. Ain't he something? <laughs> no trip to Goodwill would be complete without me picking up at least one mug. I got this one for myself. And there she is, ladies and gentlemen, the pineapple of the day. Right after I saw that pineapple, my mom sent me a text message and said, It's National Pineapple Day. <laughs> How appropriate. If I was a Disney princess, I would be Snow White. Because I'm just drawn to the little forest animals. <laughs> Those were so sweet. So I'm coming back over to the buggies because I saw this doll earlier and I wanted you to see her face. Are you ready? Are you ready? There it is! <laughs> wow. Alright, I spied with my little eye this cute Christmas plate. It looks so vintage. Picked it up turned it over and Walmart this little Frenchman caught my eye look at him with his baguettes he wasn't anything special but I thought he was cute so as you can see I do have some things in my buggy and I'll show you my haul in just a little bit but I've got a few more things to add to it before I'm done like this for example Ooh. Pretty fabric and quite a few yards on that roll. Don't mind if I do. So I did actually end up getting this, but now that I'm looking at it again, uh, the Bible verse does not go with the picture. Uh, the Bible verse is what the angels told the shepherds they would find the baby in the manger. The wise men didn't show up till later, so that plate is theologically unsound. My apologies. All right, so I got out of Goodwill for right at $30 because I rounded up to the next dollar and I got some good stuff and here's what I got. All right, here's what I got at Goodwill. I got this little storage container for personal use. I paid $2.99. These little guys, not sure who they are, what they are, but they're cool. 89 cents, 89 cents. Corningware, $2. This neat little vase with a Stopper in the top, paid $2.50 for that. Um, my awesome mug, $0.89. Cents. Harry Potter book, I think I got this for a dollar. I think it's listing for around $30 right now, so that was a pretty good deal. Two bolts of fabric and a new pair of water shoes for myself. This umbrella for $3 that I got. I also picked this up for a buck because it was in really, really good shape and still has the sticker, and it's the 47 brand, which I've heard is the brand to get. All right, our next stop is at Second Glance, and I have a few things to drop off for donations for them, but I figure, hey, we might as well go pop inside. Um, I think all of their blue tag items are 50% off this week, so we're gonna go on the hunt for blue tags. All right, so what am I looking for when I look through here? I'm looking for, mostly I'm looking for things that still have their original tags on them. I can charge more for those. Those are some fun shoes. They're not very good quality. Water shoes. got a lot of clothes in my inventory right now so I'm kind of again being a little bit particular just a little not a lot just a little amen I agree I concur that's neat I wonder if that's old it's kind of hard to tell it's not big not super great quality. What do we got over here? Some fun pillows. This is where we got that crazy squid. Now what in the world is going on here? 
is half elephant, half tiger. I'm so confused right now. But it's got its, it's got its tag on it. Flip a zoo. Isn't that interesting? Oh my gosh, there's a gold field over there. Hold up. I haven't seen a gold field in a long time. Wow, I see like a... Oops, sorry dude. Oh, I think he had like something mechanical inside him. Because he's got a hole in his back. All of these stores got their music up way too loud today. That's sweet. Got some chips. Looking for brands, things that I feel like would be easy to flip, and things that may still have their tags on them. Whoa, there's a tag on this guy. What? Okay, well, I'm not going to take a risk on that one. Put that kind of price tag on it. All right, so I'm looking at the things on this rack because they're 75% off of whatever the price tag on them says. So again, when I'm looking at clothes, I'm looking for brands that I know um, are higher end. And then if I find a higher end brand, then I wanna make sure and really look at the garment and make sure that it is in excellent condition. So if there's any stains or snags or anything that's just a little bit off, even if it's a good brand, I'm going to pass on it just because I don't want to sell things that aren't in excellent condition. So i got to be a little picky choosy. In the dish section, I found these balloon plates. A green one, a red one, a yellow one, and a blue one. And I thought they would be so, so, so cute for birthday party plates. Um, I tried my best to try to figure out what the brand was. so. I have zero idea, but I thought it was worth taking a risk on because they are so stinking cute. And then, I may have squealed out loud when I saw this plate. It's Joan Walsh England, who is one of my favorite children's illustrators. And they're Christmas plates. Oh my goodness, look at this. So, these are for me. <laughs> And then, oh, the last one, this one was precious. They're singing Christmas carols. This was an unusual set of little figurines. They reminded me a lot of the little spaghetti poodles that I've heard about. There was a white one, and there was a pink one, and they were definitely old, and I was very tempted to pick them up, but um, I'm getting smarter as I shop. And so I wanted to double check, triple check, quadruple check, make sure there weren't any chips or cracks or flaws. So the white one was in really, really good shape. There was nothing wrong with that one. So then I went to look at Pinky. Pinky had some flowers broken off her hat. So I couldn't get the pink one. Thought about just getting the white one, but then I didn't feel right about separating them. So. I left them both. Ta-da! Okay, does this not look like Tom and Jerry? Like the Jerry, Jerry's little cousin? <laughs> oh, this one's sweet. That one's real sweet. Let's see if it has the trinket inside of it. I'm gonna try not to break it. Okay, there's not a trinket inside, but that is so sweet. I'm gonna get that for sure. Oh, and these are cute. I'm gonna try it. I am from Texas after all. All right, at second glance, I got this shirt for about $1.75. The Joan Walsh England plates, I did pay up a little bit for those, $3 a piece. Um, got the balloon plates, $2 a piece. 
the salt and pepper shaker, cowboy hat and boot, this sweet little trinket box. So, so sweet. And then I found these um, Disney bowls, vintage Disney, um, vintage uh, Mickey, and then one Pooh Bear. And uh, so yeah, that was my haul from Second Glance. All right, now for something a little bit different. This isn't a thrift store. This is a place called Dirt Cheap. And I don't really even know how to describe it, except that they have things in here for dirt cheap. It's new stuff. So it's like uh, overstock from Target or from Walmart or whatever, and they, they mark it down. And it's very, 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 hit or miss. It's extraordinarily disorganized, so it may be a little stressful, but it, I haven't been here in a while. Um, and so I was just right across the street from the place, so I decided, well, let's let's do something brand new. And so let's go, let's go rummage, shall we? Let's. Okay, so I do love their sign, because it has a wacky looking chicken. I have no idea why their logo is a wacky looking chicken, but he makes me smile. Okay, are y'all ready for this? I don't know if I'm ready for this. So they do have furniture. They've got clothing, household goods, all kinds of things. So if you ever find a dirt cheap to go to, um, they have this kind of weird pricing thing that they do. And there's an app that you can download to double check prices on stuff. But you just don't ever know. <laughs> you don't ever know what you're going to find that you're like, oh, I can't live without this. But see, this is stuff from Target. Um, so it says $4.99, but it's 50% off of that. So, you know, just gotta look around a little bit. So of course I'm looking at the mugs because why wouldn't I be, right? That's a cute little owl. I have found great Christmas presents here. Um, their linens usually are really good deals. Um, so, yeah. We'll just walk around a little bit and kind of let you see. I saw some polka dots over here. What is this? It's a laundry bag. Alright. But they've got baby stuff and Christmas, it's a little wacky, it's a little crazy. A graphing calculator. So, um, I mean, I'm sure there's there's deals to be had, but um, I would need to be looking up, looking up comps and all that to be making sure that I was getting a good deal. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Ooh, I do love this stuff. Apple cider scent. Ooh, I haven't ever smelled that before. Might have to try that. Okay, so the tag says 14, was that 87? I scanned the code and the code says it's like $7. Um, and I looked on Amazon and I, you can buy them for like $8 on Amazon. Seems really expensive for a cleaning solution, but so it is a bargain, I guess. But like, I don't need it. <laughs> I don't need a seven dollar cleaning solution. So for me, I don't know that this would be place to get stuff for resale because it's you know stuff that you could pop over to Target and pick up. Um. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Just don't know that they have like really high-end plans here that people would feel like they were getting a big deal on. You know what I mean? Classic brand linens. Twenty dollars for linens. 
but it doesn't it's not branded you know people are gonna people are gonna want a brand all right lots and lots and lots of clothes the thing i've left out here on here before um has been like bathing suits because at the beginning of the summer they have like big huge piles of bathing suits and they're like two dollars a piece oh wait here's some huh, oh they've gone out Anyway, I have found good deals on bathing suits here before. Good gracious, the music was so loud in here. So I'm doing a voiceover for this part as well. Um, just to kind of show you around. Uh, things are kind of thrown hither and yon. Now that end cap looked pretty organized, but for the most part, things are just kind of tossed around. You can get everything from shoes to refrigerators. Um, if you're willing to dig and look, but a lot of this stuff are things, leftover things from like Target and Walmart. You can notice the brands. You can get 40 to 90% off of the shoes, but a lot of the shoes are not um, high quality shoes, is what I'm saying. I mean, they're great, but not high quality and um, certainly not for resale purposes, I would not think. They've got toys, they've got just about everything you can imagine in this store. So. I'm gonna look around a little bit, see if there's something I can't live without. And if I find that thing, trust me, I will let you know. Okay, so I looked and looked and looked all through the store for something awesome. Here's the thing, I've gotten so used to finding little kitschy, one of a kind sort of things, that these things that are just like mass produced, they just don't do it for me. They don't do it for me. But I was successful. I spent $11 and I got cheap. I got a pair of swim trunks, a swim skirt, and a vintage bikini. All for $11. All new with tags. There's some things I don't like to buy secondhand. Bathing suits is one of those things. So I think this was a valuable stop for me today. So um, I'm getting hungry, it's time for lunch, and it's starting to heat up outside, so I think I'm gonna call it a day. So thanks for coming along on this impromptu shopping adventure today. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.